Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lean and welcome to uh, For the Love of Scents. Today I'm gonna show you my Delina collection. So I have the original Delina there. I have the exclusive in a Scentbird um, atomizer. I have the Delina La Rose and I have the Delina Hair Mist. So Delina was uh, uh, launched in 2017 perfumer is Quentin Birch and it was so hype up in the internet I started watching perfume fragrance YouTube reviews way back in 2018 and uh, when Delina first came out people were so crazy about it they, they, they hype it up so much every youtuber has this perfume and it all that it's groundbreaking it's very unique and at that time the prices were high you couldn't get this in the uh, discounter or um, in the fragrance group so i couldn't get it right away i got it probably in 2019 yeah i think i got it in 2019 and the first time i smelled it you know sometimes um as with the other hype perfumes when i smell it i usually disappointed because the hype is so real and so so i expect too much from a fragrance but with elena it it didn't happen to me when i first smelled it i like it i i understand why people loves it so much it is unique at that time it was so unique first time i have smelled that um that scent and that combination of notes so this is my um original delina probably i have less than half left in here and uh, as i said it was uh, launched in 2017 so Delina has the top notes of lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. The mid notes are Turkish rose, peony, moss, petalia, and vanilla. And base notes are cashmere, cedar, hachan, vetiver, and incense. So uh, as you spray it, at the top, the lychee and the rhubarb is there. So the, the reason why we for me it is very unique and groundbreaking is the note rhubarb it is that sour note it is not sour as in you know like vinegar it is like it's not actually sour it's tart it's a tart tarty note it's not sweet it's it's tart note the rhubarb combined with the sweetness of lychee and the citrus citrus um kick of the bergamot that's the the top but then the rose about five seconds after the rose will be there so the main star is the rose and then some peonies mass it has vanilla note but i couldn't distinguish vanilla because it is sweet but not too sweet and the dry down is is also so divine with that incense the woody notes the cedar kashmiran and then the incense so it was really groundbreaking for me i was so in love when i first smelled it and the first time i smelled it was when i went to the dentist and it was a big mistake because you know when you go to the dentist it's like a close encounter right the dentist will be so close to you i think i suffocate i suffocate him because this perfume is so strong so the performance of me is very good i heard people says that it doesn't last on them three to four hours the projection here is definitely beast mode and the longevity for me it lasts me all day six to eight hours i always get a compliment wearing this people loves it on me i don't know maybe it suits my body chemistry but i really really love this uh, delina 
I will forever be having this. It will always be in my collection. So, um, I like it so much that I have also the hair mist. So, the hair mist it smells exactly like the Lina, except that it is made for the hair. So, it's a uh, safe. Uh, there's not much alcohol content in it so you can use it for the hair but basically the scent is as similar to the lina it is the lina so um in 20 in 2018 they launched the the lina exclusive so the the Lina exclusive, I don't have a full bottle. I have um the Belayer dupe. So the Belayer dupe first kiss exclusive is ninety nine percent similar. I have a sample of the exclusive before, so I smelled it. I also have a decant of it, so I know how it smells, and I decided not to buy a full bottle. Why? So. The Delina exclusive, same perfumer, but the the top notes here are lychee, pear, and bergamot. Mid notes are Turkish rose, wood, incense. Base notes are vanilla, amber, and woody notes. So, the exclusive is the sweeter and creamier version of the Delina. It doesn't has the rhubarb notes, so it it there's no tartness. It's so sweet. It's sweet actually and creamy. You can you can smell, feel the creamy creaminess of the uh, exclusive. It's also I don't know about other people, but for me it is oilier. Whenever you know how you smell an oil or the texture of oil, that's how I smell the Lina exclusive. The rose is also less compared to the original Delina and the incense is less. So there is still a hint of incense but I don't smell it too much compared to the original Delina. And then there is wood and amber. So when I put this on my skin, the top notes is, is good, right? Because there's no rhubarb but actually rhubarb is one of the notes i like in delina so they took that out in exclusive so then it's a minus point for me but still the top notes is still good but the dry down i have this i, I don't know i i have this note that i don't like it's an i cannot tell it, whether it is the wood or the amber definitely one of them or both of them that doesn't suit with the combination of rose and pear and lychee and i couldn't take it i couldn't tolerate it actually but i did i still wearing it when i'm in the mood actually i forgot to show you i have the 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 dupe of exclusive it's still quite full i seldom use it as i said i only use it when i'm in the mood but it's still a good scent but most people actually prepared it to the Lina and they said it's the performance is even better than the Lina. Like the projection is better and the longevity is better, which is true. When I wear this, I don't have to reapply. Actually, when I wear this, I want to get rid of it. I don't want I don't want to smell like this all day, but that's how it is. It lasts you all day. And it's actually better. Um compared to the Delina, though Delina also performs well. So, uh, if you ask me if I prepare Delina or exclusive, definitely I prepare the original Delina. It is very unique. The the, the rhubarb note, the incense note is, is so divine. Then in um, just last year, in 2021, I think beginning of 2021, they launched the Delina La Rose. So the Delina La Rose is considered considered as a floral fruity scent. So the top notes are so this is the Delina La Rose. The top notes is similar to the exclusive. It is lychee, pear, and bergamot. So there's no rhubarb. Mid notes are Turkish rose, peony, watery notes, and floral note. 
base notes are white mass, woody notes, and Haitian vetiver. So, as you can see, the La Rosette, they have no incense. There's no vanilla. So, this is actually for me, this is pear prominent. So, the, the, when you spray it, uh, the pear is the prominent in the in the top in the top and then of course the rose but the rose is a watery watery or aquatic rose is so light and airy and then it dries down to a uh, musky and woody notes the the dry down is actually quite nice it's it considered it as a fresh floral actually so the I, I really like it too that's why i have the full bottle i like it and even though it's lighter compared to the delina and at the exclusive it also performs quite well so the projection is also good and then the longevity is also good about six to eight hours but the price of delina la rose is actually more than the original delina and the exclusive so i don't justify the price so the the price of the lina and the exclusive is i can take it like i think it's worth it because the composition the blend that they blend it so well and the the uniqueness of the scent is worth it but the la rose for that price i don't think it justify it is it is uh it is not a unique it's not a ground breaking perfume i think you will get um other perfumes with a uh, lesser price range with that scent profile but if you are a fan of delina definitely you need to get this too so all of this delina even though they have the same dna as the rose and the lychee they are quite different for you to own all of them so you can tell um you can tell the differences uh, among these three. So if you uh, used to wearing the Lina, you can tell that this is the Lina and this is X Delina exclusive and this is the Lina La Rose. So they are quite unique in in their own right, but at the same time they have common DNA, which is the lychee and the rose. So um, if um, you're gonna ask me to rank it. I will definitely my number one and my favorite will be the original Delina uh, this is my favorite and whenever um, you know uh, going to a special uh, function or occasion I will always wear this and my second one will be the I think is still the exclusive so even though as I said I don't like the the dry down of this but it's still it's um, it's still unique it's still it's still a love for me so the second one will be the exclusive and the last one will be the the La Rose so the La Rose is good for summer and spring while the exclusive is good for fall and winter and the original delina can be a signature worthy scent because you can use it throughout the year this you can use in summer spring fall or winter so how about you guys uh, what do you think about delina do you think it is overpriced overhyped um i know some people you know they they don't like this perfume they don't want to get on the hype train but um how about you and if you love it or if you like it which one is your favorite so please um let me know comment down below and let's have uh, let's have a discussion and thank you again guys for watching and i will see you on my next video don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you bye bye